I got the Cine Bunnies. I think they're for kids because it's bunny shaped. But I don't care because it, it sounded good. If it's if it's gonna taste like I think it's going to, I'm excited. <laughs> Our second store today we went to target that was our other little haul we did um mostly grocery but also a couple little home things too so let's just go ahead and dive in because i'm excited to share some of these are just like basics but like i said this is summer essentials basically um the number one summer essential for breakfast is obviously the tropicana you already know you already know and a no pulp we ain't messing around with the full pulp i'm not trying to swallow a whole orange while i'm drinking um, and this also just sounded really good. It sounded like it was going to hit the spot. Um, let me make sure we're like in focus here. There we go. Uh, strawberry lemonade. Wait. Oh yeah, I thought I got watermelon for a second. Yeah, strawberry. I'm excited because it's been hot. What, it's like 85 today? 80, 86. So this is going to hit the spot. And then this is for Mariah. She could probably tell you more about it than I can, but she wanted to get, we usually drink almond milk. But well, she wanted to get some whole milk because they said that you were measuring at 29 weeks. So just a little bit well, smaller. Yeah. He's going to be small in general. But I had our last appointment last month. I was measuring a little bit underweight. And then also I was measuring two weeks behind like my stomach was. So I gained five pounds. So that's good. I'm measuring a week behind. That's okay, but the it give or take a week or two, and you're still okay. But I heard drinking whole milk can help too, and then also help him get like a little bit bigger. Cause I mean I'm pretty small for how far I'm like how far I am versus like my other friends. Mm -hmm. So just a like small glass of whole milk a day. See uh, where we're at. Come, yeah. Um, the next appointment in two weeks. So some other things that we got from the grocery store um, that I'm also really stoked about. So obviously if you guys don't know we're vegetarian. Well, I'm vegetarian, but Ryan's kind of like in and out of it a little bit. Uh, it's more of whatever the baby wants at the time. Um, but they recently came out with these Morningstar um, chorizo, is it? I would say chorizo, chorizo crumbles, which are awesome for breakfast. Mariah made them one day, didn't tell me that she put them in there. And I was like, ooh, what is this? And it, it hits really good. So I was super stoked about that. And um, they also just released the veggie meatballs, which are I'm really excited about too because we make this, um, like I call it Hawaiian meatballs dish. Uh, it's really good, barbecue sauce, all stuff. Which, well, I'm going to do some what I eat in a days pretty soon, especially um, as we get the vlogs going more and more. So we'll, we'll kind of dive into that a little bit more. And then, of course, the breakfast sausage because... You know, you gotta have a sausage. Uh, and then, loofahs. Which you probably think is a toy, huh? So my, my favorite bread recently has been this farmhouse brand. And we usually get this one, it's called Oat Nut. But they had this one that's called Oatmeal. And it just like, visually looked really good to me. It's hard to find like, whole wheat bread around us. A lot of it is like, enriched or enriched bleach and stuff like that. I'm like, I, I don't wanna mess with that. So. But the oat, oat nut one we have, which I think it might even be a different brand, but it looks similar to this one. But um, I'm excited to try this one anyway. This part I'm excited about. I'm really, I mean, I, I said I'm excited about all of it, but I'm really excited about all this because now we get to actually taste test a little bit. Because I got two cereals and two cheeses that I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, and we're going to taste test it right here in now. So I've been trying, okay, so I used to eat so much sugary cereal as a kid, and I've been trying to kick that now. Uh, so, I mean, I used to go hard on Fruity Pebbles, Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, all that. And it's super hard to break that when you grew up eating it, like, all the time. Uh, but it's not good for you, and you just feel like crap after you eat it, and you're still hungry. So, I wanted to still have cereal, because I like cereal, but I wanted to find a healthier alternative. So, I found a couple brands. We have a couple other brands that are really good, like granola-based. But these ones I found today, um, one is Annie's, and the other one is Nature's Path Organic. Um... And these He's ones, eating it. 
He's like, what'd you give me? I don't want this. Yeah, he was trying to chew it until I said he's eating it. He almost ate his little fish treat. I wanted to at least eat one. At least try one, dude. He's glaring at you. He's like, no. Look at that. (laughs) Thumbnail. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I got the Cine Bunnies. I think they're for kids because it's bunny shaped. But I don't care because it it sounded good. If it's going to taste like I think it's going to, I'm excited. And these ones are Cheetah Chomps. These all sound like little kids cereal, but... I'm hoping these ones taste similar to Fruit Loops, but are way healthier. So I'm, I'm going to dive in right now. We don't got milk right now, but we're going to try it. We don't have milk. Well, we do, but I'm not going to pour a bowl. Oh. We're going to do less pretty soon. It smells pretty good. It smells healthy. So, oh, you you want some too? Emily, you can move closer if you want to. Come on. Mm. It's very good. You can definitely tell the difference that this has like, I think it said dried fruit, freeze dried fruit. You can definitely tell it. It tastes like you're actually eating fruit and not like artificial colors. What do you think, Ella? Want one? What do you think? You approve? Yeah. Usually when he doesn't throw it out, we say that he approves. So I really, you know, we need to figure out, we need to figure out a way to um, close our cereal things so they don't go bad, like stale wise. We need like little clothespins or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, that one surprised me. That actually tastes really good. You want to try? Mm-hmm. Okay. It tastes like you're eating like real fruit. This one, I kind of have an idea of what I think it's going to taste like in my head, but I don't know. Thank you. Oh, it smells just like I think it's going to. I think this is what I, I had as a kid once it tastes similar. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it almost, excuse me, I'm trying to vlog. Do you want one? You gotta try one of those. It tastes like, it's almost like I like a taste like Apple Jacks. That's what it reminds me of. Ooh, I'm gonna tear these up. That's so good. Okay, and I thought they were gonna look like more like little kid cereal, but it actually looks like fine. And who cares, because it's cereal. The last thing I wanted to taste test right here, we got Kobe cheese. This is my favorite, Kobe cheese. She puts that on everything. Um, but I got this cheese. I've seen this in the store all the time, and I've never tried it, but it looks good. I think it's called Munster. Maybe. Is that how you pronounce it? Munster? 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 If it's wrong, let me know in the why, comments. Why, Zachary? Look at this. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We need to get a thing that... No, it's because of how you opened it. Excuse me. Come here. So I'm really, I'm just gonna have straight up a slice of cheese right now because I'm, I've always wanted to try this one. I think mainly because like the sides of it look, like, ooh, it smells like funky. But I think they say the worse the cheese smells, the better it's supposed to be. You wanna try some? Yeah. Want a whole slice? Do you want a whole slice? What kind of cheese is it? Monster. I've never had it before. Yeah, but what is classic? I don't know. Okay, we'll have we'll split it. This might be good on grilled cheese. Wait, wait, wait let's try it together. It smells weird though. It smells like um, like uh, one of the triangle ones. Hey, come here. Triangles? Or is it, it kind of smells like cold hey, bean. Come here. All right, we're gonna try. It. That's good. Oh, I like it. It's almost got like a Kobe taste, mm-hmm. but also like a little bit of cheddar. It has the Kobe smell. Oh, I really like it. And apparently Jay likes it too, because he just took it from me. Is that good? All right, I think you've reached your treat limit for today. So overall, I'm very happy with the stuff that we got. No, food wise. She, she got some stuff for her hospital bag, which expect some um, stuff like that too coming soon. We're gonna do like, what's in my hospital bag, you know, stuff like that. So she started to kind of prep for that. I gotta start doing that too. Um, okay, we all know I will be doing it. Nah, nah, I, I got it. I, I'll do my bag. Do my bag. So I'm gonna put the Xbox in there. I'm gonna put the laptop, uh, <laughs> TV, <laughs> um, All right, so Ryan spotted this at Target and I'm really, really stoked about this one. I've seen these all the time, but I've never seen one that I really like and I love this one. It looks classy. It's a letter board. 
but it looks like it's, I don't think it's bamboo, but it looks like it's bamboo. Um, and the letters are white, so it's gonna look really like boho, and it's just gonna be, I don't know, tumbler, I guess you could say. So, I was thinking since we're doing almost daily vlogs now, what I could do is put like the vlog and then the number, and then have this in the background of like when we start videos and stuff, or like in the studio area. I think that'd be really cool. And maybe even like do some like little lights or something around it would be cool. Something simple, you know? That pretty much completes the Target haul. The the last thing we had was the Old Navy, but maybe we'll do that as a separate thing. We'll do like a try on haul video. Uh, we went to Old Navy today. And well, Mariah was like, do you wanna go to Old Navy? No, you, you didn't say you wanna go. She's like, I heard Old Navy's having a sale. And I was like, do you wanna go to Old Navy? She's like, well, we're going past it. So I was like, all right, we'll go. I didn't realize I was buying a bunch of stuff, but they had like really good sales. I don't usually shop at Old Navy either, but. Um, You're like, I don't know where I'm swiping my card. Oh, uh, yeah, swipe, swipe. Thank goodness Mariah had the Kohl's. I mean, not the Kohl's, but right. the. Well, we spent like, what, well, it was like 190 but we oh, it got. Was, it was, it was going to be close to 300 No, but I'm saying originally we spent 190 but with it the sales, like, yeah, um, it, it would have been like, without the sales, it would have been like 300 but, like, I think they're trying to get rid of all the winter stuff because they don't have a lot of summer stuff out. So we got, like, a bunch of hoodies. Um, Ryan got some dresses. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what all we got. <laughs> so, but we'll do uh, a separate video for that. We'll do a try-on uh, haul. I see people do that all the time, and I, I kind of want to try one, so. I might butcher it, but who knows. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all we did so far today. If we go to the park, I might vlog that. Or, you know what, I might just end it here because this video is probably already going to be pretty long. So... If we go to the park, maybe I'll just tie that into tomorrow's. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned because we're going to be uploading vlogs every other day from here on out. Um, and eventually work into daily vlogs. So, yeah. Do you want to say anything, Mark? No. No? All right. Jay, do you want to say anything? <laughs> He said, thanks for watching. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Don't forget to stay stoked.